kind of wondering what you hoped to achieve when you started and what you hope the legacy will be. Well, I think one of the key things we wanted to do is to kind of challenge attitudes within Lancaster and our visitors and ourselves about where the collection comes from and where Lancaster's history comes from and the history of the slave trade that you see all around you in the, in the city and the buildings and in the furniture and the portraits here and to really think about where that wealth has come from and how it affects us today. And I think Lancaster Black History Group were really upfront about that as well. And in terms of kind of when you walk around the museum now, I wanted visitors to kind of have to be confronted with it. It's not a straightforward topic and um, I wanted people to kind of start the conversation and the idea of having these beautiful portraits next to the people that potentially enslaved them or were involved in investing in this trade. That was really key. You know, I didn't want these to to be in a separate room off to the side. The idea is that people come up the stairs and they see them instantly and they're all in quite prominent positions deliberately around the house so that um, hopefully it makes you think about the other collections, the furniture and the paintings and the, you know, the fine clocks mm. and cabinets. It makes you think about them perhaps a little bit differently than you might have thought. That was one of the key things, sort of, at the museum view, that it would challenge her or change perhaps how you feel as you go around the museum. We wanted this to have a legacy, this project, so it's a long term project, and this isn't a temporary exhibition in the sense that four of these portraits are now accessioned into the collection, so they'll be part of the collection forever and on display, and then the other two we're hoping to get into the collection soon. Layla was commissioned to do four and she actually did six so we just need to find the money to buy the other two. That's the other thing I'm interested in, as a group you conceive an idea, you've done brilliantly in engaging a whole range of partners, particularly young people and one always has an idea of what it might look like. I'm curious as to what, the, what have been the surprises? I think the surprise, but the good surprise, um, was just how Layla brought this commission to life because there's always a risk as a curator you're sort of handing over a bit of power and it's a bit nerve-wracking mm. you think this could go either way you know she, we'd seen her work before so we had a good idea mm. of what we were committing you know we knew she was a brilliant artist but people interpret things differently yeah. and there's a risk isn't there because you kind of promised you know this mm. is going to be a prominent exhibition so I suppose the, the surprise was really how emotional people have been when they go mm. around the, the museum. A lot of people have had a real physical emotional impact. People have been crying when the, the portraits were first revealed and people have really, you know, come back again and again to see them. And I think it's had a real kind of emotional punch mm. for some people, which I wasn't expecting. No. And also, I suppose the other thing with this project is because it has had a lot of partners. Usually that's a nightmare, but with this one, I think mean, everybody wanted it to work. So it's actually been really, it's been relatively smooth. I mean, there have been problems obviously with any project, but you know, the will has been there to make sure that it happens and it, that it's a good outcome for everybody. I suppose thinking about the exhibition, thinking about church schools, thinking about Christian values, there's something about treating everyone with dignity and respect, there's something about all voices being heard and everybody being welcome and having a place at the table. And I think in this exhibition what we see, all voices being heard and people who perhaps in the past weren't treated with dignity and respect are being given that dignity and respect in the exhibition. I think in terms of how the exhibition's been put together, it's been put together with members of the community, the Priory Church, curators from the, the museum, but more importantly, or rather most importantly, young people. And that whole sense of partnership and working together 
for something that's quite beautiful and exceptional. And we know when we talk about equity, diversity and justice, we know that when we bring diverse voices to the table, the end product is so much better.